Hey, what's up guys? It's Eddie Martinez again here with the Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number two, Studio Design and Monitors. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first steps for having a good recording is understanding how to set up your room. Uh, you want to make sure that your room sounds nice and clear. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Studio Design uh, first. Okay, so there are three things to keep in mind when recording in a room. The first thing is something called low frequency buildup. Uh, low frequency energy tends to build up in corners. This creates a boomy overall bassy sound which can work against you when you're playing back your music. It actually sometimes can even give you the illusion that you had more bass in the track than you actually did when playing back and other problems that are related to that as well. So placing bass traps in the corners of your room can usually fix this problem. Another problem that usually occurs when recording is something called standing waves. Uh, this is an interference between two waves traveling in the same direction. It creates a resonant, boxy sound, and uh, for the most part, bass traps, again, will uh, be your answer to solve this problem. Uh, one of the final problems, or actually the final problem that you may uh, face, is something called flutter echoes. Uh, the way this works is if there's two opposing reflective surfaces in a room, uh, usually, you know, parallel walls or, you know, the floor and ceiling. Uh, this will usually cause something called flutter echoes, uh, but, you know, there's things, there's a way to combat that. There's sound absorbers and uh, sound diffusers that can actually fix this problem. So understanding your room's dimensions, like the parallel surfaces between the floor, the ceiling, the walls, and even the corners can help you identify where your problem areas are. Um, so it's always good to kind of keep aware of all this stuff before you even begin recording, you kind of treat your room for your recording. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about studio monitors. Having the right studio monitor set up will help you mix your music the right way. Understanding how to set up your monitors in a room for playback is very important. It's just the same way that light bounces off mirrors, sound waves will actually bounce off the surfaces before reaching your ears. Uh, this usually results in the sound's overall characteristics, so any surface like the walls or the ceilings or the floor can be problematic. And um, you should always factor that in when you're setting up your monitors. Okay guys, so here are a few tips for mixing. Make sure your room is asymmetrical. This will actually help you with standing waves and other sound problems that might occur. Also, by sitting closer to the speakers, you'll actually hear more of the direct sound with fewer reflections. And then of course, the most important tip is to remember to maintain the equilateral triangle arrangement. So I hope this helps. This has been Eddie Martinez over here with the Recording Connection. And one more quick tip, don't forget to check out Music Is My Oxygen for more things that you love about music. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.